the basics of interfacing an LED to a microcontroller. I have with me uh, 8051 based uh, development board. So this board consists of a, a P89V51 RD2 which is a 8051 microcontroller with a bootloader on it. So I will be programming it through the serial port and running it. So I have connected the port 0 that's the port 0, 0, 0.0 that's the 0th bit that's the first pin of port 0 to my LED so I've connected the port pin to the anode of my LED and the cathode of my LED is connected in series with this 1 kilo ohm resistor and the other terminal of the resistor is connected to the ground pin in my port so this can be the other way wherein the LED in series with the microcontroller and then which it flows through in series with the LED and the other terminal of the LED being connected to the ground having said that the other terminal of the LED which is supposed which is to be connected to the ground is our cathode so this is a basic circuit diagram which if we can relate to the circuit diagram on my side that would be where I've connected the music port pin which is our port 0, 0.0 pin in our case now and a 1 kilo ohm resistor and a 330 ohm and a 3 millimeter LED connected and the other terminal is connected to the ground. As I told you uh, I've used the other way wherein I've connected a port pin here and an LED my LED is here and the resistor goes this way and the other terminal of the resistor is connected to the ground so there's nothing to be confused all that you need to know is the positive the anode of the LED the mu C the cathode of the LED to the resistor in series and the resistor to the ground or it should be the resistor always in series with an LED that's all you need to know and you can connect it either ways and it works perfectly fine We'll quickly write a code for glowing the LED. We'll quickly write a program which is a very basic program to on and off our LED that is connected to port 0, zero pin. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting the pin to high that is I'm providing a 5 volt supply and then I'm providing some delay and after that I'm switching it off and then I'm again providing some delay so what happens this way is that the LED switches on for some time and then switches off for some time so this process happens repetitively since it's inside a while loop this is a while one forever loop so as far as the microcontroller is on it, keep, it keeps blinking the LED so you can uh, visit my uh, website under tutorials you have you do have the tutorials about video and uh, uh, other content about how you can use the key IDE to program your microcontrollers so okay coming back to our program we have written this small program and uh, before we debug it let's quickly see if the crystal frequency is set to, to what is on the board and also going to the output we need to click the check select the checkbox create hex file so this hex file will be used by us to flash the microcontroller so, so I'll quickly do the build Good that there is no error and I'm done with the build and there is no error and no warning and this code should work perfectly fine so if we debug it so this is what we see let's open our IO ports and see what happens when we run it so if you can see the port 0, 0th pin switches 
switches on and switches off uh, the time delay may not be the real uh, the real case as in microcontroller because it's been simulated on our pc so but when we actually write this program onto our microcontroller we can uh, see the time delay being constant that is the led blinking at the constant rate so that's about the debugging part of it we now use the hex file that's generated to burn the code into our microcontroller now that we have our code ready and we did debug it and see the code to be working fine so what we will do now is the is to transfer the hex file that was created in the process of the build into our microcontroller so how we will be doing that is by using this tool called uh, Philips, Philips Flash Magic. So the tutorial for this is again available in my site under tutorial section. So the first thing that I would do is select my device, then the COM port that I'm going to use, and the baud rate and the I the interface which is ISP. And I've checked the flag which is Erasol flag, and through browse I will select the hex file that is generated. And then, once that is done, I will, since this is my laptop and I don't have a serial port on it, I've used a USB to UART converter and the UART of it is connected to the serial RS-232 connection on this development board. So, I will be programming it serially using the bootloader, so the flash magic will transfer the code into the microcontroller we will see how that is done so once we have selected this we click on start which then tells you to reset the device into ISP mode which means you are supposed to press the reset button of your microcontroller the reset button is down here I will be pressing that button now and you see the window going off and at the bottom you see the message finished which says it has already verified and flashed the program under the microcontroller so when you're flashing it you can see that happening so I'm just doing it again so verifying finish so that has flashed your microcontroller with the program that we just wrote so the connection that I already discussed with you I have now connected pin 0 to the LED is do a reset so that the program starts executing so there you can see the LED blinking the code that we wrote for LED to blink so similarly we can do the same thing for uh, using our entire LED array I'll just show you that as well